I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Radash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the elect and much respect to the brothers pushing his word, the four winds of the earth. Shalom to you few sisters out there that's listening and learning and doing the right thing. It's Brother Ariel coming at you with a quick uh, cut here. And um, I'm going to read this real quick. This is an incel. It's a word called incel, right? And it says, a member of an online community of young men who consider themselves unable to attract women sexually, typically associated with views that are hostile towards women and men who are sexually active, okay? So let me just get this real quick, all right? So it says, Ohio incel pleads guilty to plotting mass shooting against women at university, uh, DOJ, right? And it says an Ohio, an Ohio man who is self-described or who is a self-described incel pleaded guilty to planning to carry out a mass shooting of women at a university, a university federal prosecutors announced. Tress Jenko, 22, of Hillsborough, Ohio, was charged by a grand jury last year with one count of attempting to commit a hate crime. He pleaded guilty to the charge on Tuesday in U.S. District Court for the Southern District of Ohio. The Justice Department said the plea agreement filing is sealed, right? And this is the dude right here. And it says, Jen Jenko admitted he plotted to commit a hate crime, namely a plan to shoot women at a university in Ohio. It says the charge is punishable, punishable by up to life in prison because it involved an attempt to kill, right? And it says, uh, Jenko identified as an incel or involuntary celibate and had active online profiles that supported the incel movement. Okay, and this is my point right here. There's an actual incel movement, man, right? In an online community of predominantly men who harbor anger towards women and advocate violence in support of their belief that women unjustly deny them sexual or romantic attention to which they believe they are entitled. Okay, and that's my point. I don't, don't want to read the whole thing, but that's my point right there, man. Okay, there's a whole community of these dudes out here, man, that are, you know, that lack sex, that women, you know, don't pay any attention to, you know, women don't even look at, you know, and these men out here are sexually deprived, man, okay, and I'm bringing this up because, you know, when that civil war starts and all hell's breaking loose out here, these are the men, you know, in this community this um, incel movement, online community, right? They're going to be out here, you know, <laughs> raping all types. They're going to be, they're going to be doing all types of stuff, man. Okay. These are the, these are the dudes because they're harboring so much anger towards women. These are the dudes that are going to be doing some unthinkable things to women out here, man. The heavenly father is going to put his spirit on these men to be judging a lot of women out here, man. You know, that's why it's best to get right with the Lord, man. You know, because, uh, yeah, I, I didn't know. I had no knowledge of this, man. No knowledge of this at all, man, that there was an online community <laughs> of angry men, you know, that really want to do harm to women, man, because they're not getting any sex, man. OK. And this man, this is this is crazy right here, man. It's going to get bad out here, man. And these these men are going to have a free for all. You know, I just did a lesson on an uh, Edomite man that was uh, capturing uh, Eve, e Israelite women, okay, quote unquote black women, all right, and you know, he was basically torturing them and raping them, right, and then ultimately killing them, man. But one Eve got away, right. I did did a lesson on that the other day, okay, but. These are the men that are going to be doing a lot of damage out here towards you women. So this is basically uh, a warning for you wicked ass women out there, man. 
Okay? This is a warning for y'all, man. Because men like this is going to be the ones that's, you know, going to be coming for you, man. You know, when this when this world or when this land, rather, is lawless and there's no law, you can't call 911. You know, no one's going to be there to help you. You can't run to your neighbor because it's going to be everybody for themselves. Okay? The love of of any of everyone is going to be cold in that day, man. No one's going to be out here seeking to help somebody else. They're only going to be seeking to help themselves, man. You know, us brothers in this truth and sisters, we're going to see a lot of a lot of uh, heinous things happening before our eyes, man. Okay? We're going to we're going to uh see you know how this land is going to be when it's completely lawless, man. We're going to see how how fast the vibration changes, man. You know? And we're going to really see how how wicked people can really be, man. Okay? And we are we are approaching those times, man. You know? So I just wanted to bring this out because it was a uh it's a warning, man, for you wicked ass women. You got a community of haters out there, man, that's secretly online plotting and scheming against you, man. Okay? And scheming against men that's <laughs> they feel taking all the women, you know? <laughs> this is crazy, you know? But it's real, you know? This is very much real, man. Okay, but I wanted to bring out another article real quick. Uh yeah, man. Because look, man. It's men like this too. It says man accused of raping woman while holding her and her boyfriend at gunpoint. Okay? And it was uh I, I believe it could have been this year or a couple of years ago, you know, a man uh raped a woman uh at a train station, man, and held uh, her, her boyfriend at gunpoint, man. He had to actually sit there and watch another man rape his woman, man, right in front of him, man. You know, judgments like this are going to be going on as well, man. Okay? And he's probably part of that community, man. You know? You got to sit up there and grab a gun and you got to go out and hold, you know, rape a, a, a man's woman right in front of him, man. You know, you got to have a heavy demon on you to do that, man. And at the end of the day, if you having sex with another man's wife, Salakia, see, that's my wife. Get out of here. You got to have sex with another man's wife. That's some gay shit, man, because you're uncovering his nakedness, you know? So let me just read this. It says, man accused of raping woman while holding her wife, uh, holding her and her boyfriend at gunpoint. Right. It says a Lexington man is accused of raping a woman, a woman at gunpoint. Police say 42 year old Wendell Clay Brook into a woman's apartment on June 1st. They say Clay raped the woman at gunpoint while her boyfriend was asleep next to her. When he woke up, police say Clay pointed the gun at him and told him not to do anything. Clay is also accused of sexually abusing a minor in the apartment at gunpoint, man. So this dude was just a damn sexual deviant, man. And that's what's going to be running around out here, man. A whole bunch of sexual deviants, right? Looking for any piece of uh, box they can get, man. You know? Police say when family members chased after him, Clay shot at two people. No injuries were reported, right? But that takes a, that's a bold, a bold act to break up in someone's crib and do that, man. Okay? But that's that's going to be the norm pretty soon, man. That's going to be the norm. Dudes like this, you know, dudes like I said, the dude that raped the 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 um the woman right right in front of her her, her boyfriend or her husband, right? And these dudes in this this online community that are sexually depraved, man. You know, <laughs> yo, you women that are at ease, y'all better wake the hell up, man, okay? Because there's something out here brewing up for y'all, man, okay? There's something out here brewing, and y'all better get y'all shit together, man, all right? Before y'all get trapped up, man.
But uh, that's all. I, I just wanted to bring that out right, right quick, man. Lord willing, uh, this lesson was edifying. I want to say shalom to the next one.